Remember Flappy Bird, that game that took over the world in 2014? Well, today I'm going to be making that in 30 minutes. If you want to create your own Flappy Bird game, I'll have a link of the tutorial I use in the description. It's a great way to start your game dev journey as it's very simple. By the way, thank you so much for 140 subscribers. To see this channel grow so quick is amazing. If you enjoyed this video, please like the smash button and subscribe for more content like this. I'm starting at 6.30pm so I'll end exactly at 7pm. I already had a Unity project loaded up with all the sprites to save some time. I'm using the original Flappy Bird background and ground sprites, but instead of using a bird as a player, I'll use a banana. Cause why not? Now we need this boy to fly. I made a script that makes the banana fly. Sort of. A big feature of Flappy Bird were the pipes. They were obstacles that you had to avoid, and every time you pass through it, you gain a point. But instead of using pipes, I thought, why not use gorillas? Last video, I made a clicker game and one of the levels was a gorilla moon, so I just yoinked that image and slapped it into this game. There will be two gorillas, one on top and one at the bottom. I also left a gap for the player to pass through. I created a movement script for the obstacles, and now it moves to the left. Fastest boy. And now it moves to the left. But currently, there's only one gorilla obstacle. So I made a spawner script that, you guessed it, spawns more obstacles. Let's hit play and test it out. What the fuck? We're halfway in and luckily now it actually works properly and it's starting to feel like the real Flappy Bird. The only problem is right now if we hit the gorillas, nothing happens. We want a game over screen to appear or something. I made a game over function that's called when the player collides with the gorilla or the ground. By the way, if you guys want me to make a discord server, comment down below. Quick break from the Flappy Bird game. This video was meant to be about the Brackies game jam, but due to my packed week, I wasn't able to complete my game. I underestimated the time needed to complete a game, so this is what I managed to make. Yeah, no, not very much at all. The jam's theme was rewind and my idea was to make a platformer game that's played backwards. Let me explain. The player starts the game with a boss fight and plays the game backwards until they reach the start. It was a very cool idea in my opinion. Such a shame I didn't manage to complete it. Comment down below if you participated in the game jam and if you managed to complete your game. Anyways, back to the video. 10 minutes left. I made a quick game over screen that says you're trash and has a restart button. We'll make the restart function later. I created an empty game object in the gap with a box collider that's set to trigger. This basically means that the player can go through it but it'll still be detected. Every time the player enters this trigger, they'll gain a point, but we currently don't have a point system. The game over screen now pops up when the player collides with something. I added a score system that increments by 1 when the player enters the trigger. I quickly made a text that displays your points. Unfortunately, that was the end of the 30 minutes. I managed to make a fully playable Flappy Bird game. You know what? Let's continue making this game. First of all, I fixed the scoring system so now when the player passes through the trigger, the points go up. I added the restart function to be able to restart the game on the game over screen. Look at it, it's completely done. Except when the game ends, the gorillas continue to move for some reason. I fixed that by making a simple if statement. When time scale is 0, the speed is also 0. So now everything is fully functional. I wanted to add my own spin to the game so I added a feature that changes the player's sprite when they reach a certain score. When the score is below 10, it's a normal banana. When it's over 10, the player becomes a poop. And when the scores over 20 the player becomes a creeper. Lastly if the player scores over 30 they become a water gun just because it was the only other image I could find at the time. Here's the game after one hour. It plays the same as the original Flappy Bird game but with a variation of skins when passing a certain score. This will encourage the player to strive for the best score. This was a very enjoyable challenge. I learned a few things here and there. If you made it this far into the video you're a legend. Comment down below if you have any suggestions for a future video. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys. Like it subscribe for more content like this that's it for me bye, bye. bye.